Oh no, more bats. I don't even know what I could imagine doing. This room feels very limited. I think I get to this guy and that's it. Unless if I stand here and, nope, I alert all the bats. Oh, you know what it is? I probably have to pull this over so the lava frog can come down. Maybe I can actually do something now. Let's see, I mean, he's going through. Well, that's where I have to go. The hell? So, I have an idea for the wind state, at least. If I were able to knock this off the ledge, it would block the lava flow, and then I would be able to go off and through the door. And I'd help out my friendly fire frog. But this is suicide. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. So, do I have to burn the bats? <gasps> no, they kill a fire frog. You can kill me all you want, but don't fuck with fire frog. This level is nuts. There's like nothing in this level. It feels like there's absolutely nothing I can do. What happens if I like go under a ledge? Does that block sound? No. If I come out, call. Wait, I have an idea. It sounds insane, but I have to try it. First, I gotta set up the crab just right. I think that's the biggest overhang I can realistically get. Next, is wake up the other crab. Come and, yeah! <laughs> I cannot believe that! Wait for the bats to fall back asleep. That is such a cool puzzle. Cause now I know this is a safe spot. Now I can get the crab and he will keep moving. Wow. Unbelievable puzzle. I was legit thinking that was impossible for a while. Come with me, fire frog friend. You're safe with me. Well, I'm not done with this yet. Damn, that bug just keeps dying. Wait, this is actually a huge level. I can't make it to the checkpoint yet. So I still gotta beat this. There's a water bucket in there. Oh, this game's teasing what happens when I combine water and fire. Oh, there is a checkpoint I can get to at least. Praise be. Uh, this is a huge level I'm in. So I want to take inventory right now. I got an echo bug top left. I got a too tall crab box. Blocking off lava right now. I got a skinny crab box. How do I get this guy out of here, right? Because I, I want to call him. You know, you can come with me, but then, well, then we're stuck. Oh, that's probably what the echo's for. Yeah, okay, that's probably what the echo's for. Well, hold up, though. I gotta get the echo down. Well, that's what the higher crab box is for. So I gotta release the lava for a bit. I don't think it's that big a deal. Get up on the ladder, and then hope that this doesn't knock the echo bug down. It doesn't, good. But now I can get the echo bug, bring him back. Yeah, 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 you echo. Hopefully this doesn't kill off the bug, it shouldn't. What I'm gonna do is push it all the way in. Perfect, perfect, I got the bug. And I'm gonna push the echo bug a little over. That's good. So if I call this box, I can bring it over here and then I can use the echo bug to get it the rest of the way. Thank you. Now it's on the proper side. And I think it's time for the echo bug to go, but it's a life for a life, you know? Sacrificing one life to save the life of the pink bug, which for some reason I'm preferring. You've served your purpose. You will go to purple bug heaven. All right, it's a new checkpoint. Why does that frog have a bubble lump in him? What purpose does that serve? Because what I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about the simple idea of getting this bug to fall down. Very simple. And then continue and send it further, further, and just getting you to bubble me. Why does the frog do that? Well, I guess he could help me bring the um, fire guy over. Yeah, that actually definitely is it. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Be free. Elementary. Where did he, did he go in? I guess I missed it, but he must have. No, he's there. Be free, froggy. Yes. Does he actually go to the island? I don't know, there's no animation playing. But I will continue. That was a very awesome puzzle gauntlet. Oh, there's nothing else for me to do but go in. All right. Oh, hell yeah. I wasn't even going for this one, but I solved it. Very cool. There's still so much more to discover. I can't wait. Oh, the vision showed me a different one. I actually expected it to show me the same one. I also can't even see the fire frog. Maybe I just need to bring a regular frog back. I mean, yeah, a frog is a frog. So where do I want to travel now? How 
going to go back to like relatively early in the journey to see if I can backtrack. I think I remember this area from the beginning of the game. I didn't notice that it had glowy moths here. I do remember this puzzle, but the reason I decided to look at it because I was actually looking back at the recording. I'm like, wait a second. I might know what's going on here. Yeah, I can get double moths because I think there's a cave section coming up and I definitely did not have these with me. Still gotta solve the puzzle at the same time. That's a little, oh, that's a little annoying. I gotta scare away the moths and knock down the food. That's fine. Hold on, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna knock the moths this way and then stop. Have them keep following me. And then fall, fall. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes. I remember this cave. Look at this. So then maybe I gotta like send the moths away so the scared food can start moving. Now I come back. That was a bad angle. Bad angle. Better angle. That's the angle. That's the ticket. So look, right? Now if I stop, the food falls. And give it to the frog. I could have done this the first time if I knew what to look for. But now I do. My third eye has been opened. And I will continue to bring the lights with me. You never know. I might want the food. And come on. Down we go. Electricity bugs. Oh, crap. A cave painting of bats. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to awake the top lightning bug without waking the bottom one. There we go. That's all I needed. Do I need the light still? I can always come back for them from here. Okay, there's more. I'm probably good. What is this area of explored? Oh! Oh, a Wi-Fi signal. Where am I? There's a new land that I haven't been able to traverse to. All right. It's not just a one-off secret. There's a full path hidden behind every secret. That is so neat. With some strange mechanics. Is this... It looks like it's going to be about, like, the crabs and lightning. Crabs can go through lightning. Well, I can't. Do you think about that, crabby boy? How about this? I just let him hang off the edge just the right amount. Surely I'll make this jump. Not even close. You know what, though? I bet this water has something to do with it. What if I get the overhang and then get some water? My feet are wet. Oh, how wet they are. Wouldn't it be a shame if I just stomped? Yo, the water short circuiting. I guess I've done that before, but not like that. That's a very interesting application. Hey, how's it going, Iguana Buddy? He's just hanging out. Oh, if I'm in the grass, I can't call the crab. That's right. Hopefully I don't need the that corner. Oh, what can I even do? Here's what I could do. I, I can't knock down the bug. Have a, yeah, I called the crab over so I can get through and get on it. So I can knock it into the hole over here. This way. There we go. A little progress. What if I stomp, then climb the ladder? You know, maybe the climb the ladder is unnecessary. I'll just get the bug. Oh, crap. Uh, he was there when we got here. Maybe it's just as easy as me standing here. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. What the hell is this convoluted area? If I stand here, does the iguana hear me? He does. Oh, I get to see a rare perk of the iguana. He cuts down grass. Well, can I get back to the crab? I can, I can get the iguana to come. Ah, oh, frick. I mean, that's probably a bad idea in losing. Oh, the iguana got shocked too. I have to think about this long and hard. How can I get to where the grass is again? I will stomp this bug. Wait for the frog to jump. Okay, let the bug come down. The frog is now here. And he has steal the frog's bubble and then somehow get him to rebubble? What if I transport this fruit with me further? Yeah, keep coming. Keep coming. Oh. Okay, I got the frog's attention. That's important. Because now I can bring this food far without proccing the frog. But this will go off the ledge itself, won't it? No, it shouldn't. However, I can no longer abuse the frog's bubble. Damn it. It's like I need the frog's bubble to get to the iguana, but then I need to have the frog not jump into lightning. I mean, I wonder if that bug can save me. It doesn't make any sense though. I don't know how it could. Here's a question. Can I maybe get the frog down to the level of the echo bug with food in its mouth just to see if that does anything? Come back, come back, come back. 
Oh, well, hold on. We could keep the frog moving back and forth. Come, come here, frog. Let's keep the frog moving back and forth. No! Feels ridiculous. Oh. The echo bug, if it's on its back, it's constantly calling out. That could hold the frog in place. Aha! I'll tell you, I thought this level was genuinely impossible. This game has gotten really good at that, just keeping me on my toes. Well, send the food down. And now I have it. Just gotta make sure I don't anger... You have got to be shitting me. At least I know how to do it. Please bubble me. Yes. Well, I mean, now winning should be as easy as ever. I was hiding grass. That crab. That silly little crab. Wow, what a sick puzzle. All to reveal a mole. Where do you take me, Mr. Mole? Oh, back to the beginning. Okay, so it was like just the tiny self-contained puzzle area, right? This game sure is cranking up the difficulty. Well, now I don't know if I want to backtrack or find another frog. It's on top of the mountain. I didn't even know you could go up there. I mean, I figure you had to be able to, but I must have missed it. So I think from here I had to go to the right. How far right? I don't know. Maybe in the mount- Oh, I remember this puzzle. Yeah, where that bird went. Oh, and there's a very carefully placed exit right here too. Yeah, I remember this greatly. Can I backtrack and get the moths though? Or maybe I don't need the moths. Maybe I need the glow bug. Come on. Yes, I can get it. Okay, hold on. Let's have a bird pick this up, see what happens. Grab, yeah, grab the bug. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. With the bug right here, eventually it will naturally be picked up by the bird. It's just gonna see it. And when that happens, it will probably shine a light that this bird can grab me in. So I will follow the bug that's on, uh, not on fire, that's just glowing. It will take out those guys and take me to the new land. How far is this? It's here. All right, and now this glow bug will lead me on a journey. Gotta okay, send it off the ledge. And I think I gotta have it go up this wall. There we go. Oh, it really wants to go up. Oh, is this to the roof? No, but there were two paths. I want to know what each of the paths were. Oh, is this is all it was? Just a couple puzzle pieces? I'll take it. And what's up here? Well, there is a moth. Not glowing yet, but it can still follow me. And I imagine I just need to eject it to go get the light. First, I'll send it up. Then I'll send it over. And it's as easy as that. Oh, that's a very small radius. Don't mess this up. Oh. I'm like, where do I go? But I get it now. Knock it out and then send it. Ah, oh, crap. It revives right away. So I just got to go down the ladder, get the goal here. Now, can I continue to pull the light over? Because I need it. What's this? Well, it gets me here. Maybe I'll just leave that one behind. I don't know, though. There's a tiny little hole. It looks like it could possibly be for a moth. Well, how about I continue, see what else I can do. Oh, oh, okay, that, actually that's not too bad. I gotta retrieve this moth without igniting the lightning bugs. Oh, that's harder than you may think. Like I could first get it to go down, then over, and then down again. Maybe it works. Please don't zap my bug bug. You zapped it. What if I just turn off its light? I bet that's actually it. Yeah, because now I can send you wherever. Well, that is clever, because I imagine if it meets up with the very first moth, then it can just reignite. It functions all the same here. Oh, and look, you know, sending it up uh, is a little misaligned, unfortunately. Come on. Yes. And now I can go back through and get it. Okay, so double the light. How can I use this to my advantage? Well, I can probably get it over here. Yeah, perfect for another checkpoint. Slowly collecting more moths. This is unbelievably sick. I don't know exactly where I want to take these yet. I also see there's an area above that I want to try. 
If I send it right up here, that doesn't get him. Yeah, why would it get him? That might be my ultimate goal. Be able to reach him through there. Yeah, that seems like a good goal. Oop, one stuck. Let me reset. So if I can get the moths above me, that help. Oh, a helpful frog. If I sing, that turns on its light. I could probably send the glow bug up. Mm, only to an extent, though. Because I'm trapped down here. Can I get the glow bug to come down? I can. Oh, I have an idea. If I take the glow bug and put it on a bamboo, I could then elevate its light so it's at an angle that can get the frog. Oh, it, it can't reach. Can I, like, send it up? Oh, the frog moved for a little. Nah, but he's still in the dark. Man, once again, this puzzle feels impossible. What if I get both of these bugs on here, turn on their lights, and then see... Does this, like, launch them? Nah, doesn't do anything special. If you think the frog could eat the other bug at all. So first you gotta light it up and then bring it down. What would it do? All that and you give up? I think I actually had a plan here. Because I think it's actually both important to have the glow bug down there and this bug up here. Like, let me go at the edge of my radius. Light and then quickly bring it up. Come on, frog. What are you gonna do? Come down. Keep coming, keep coming. Yes, the bug's right here. You can bubble me. Is this it? Oh my, wow, it was. <laughs> that was such a hard puzzle. Awesome puzzle. Wow, well, let's reunite the uh, moths. Just gotta be careful that I don't do it uh, while extinguishing the others. I gotta be very careful about that. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> God, you were there! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am a brave boy. I played that up for the camera. Wasn't it funny? Okay, let's be careful with how we stand. That's good enough. All right, everyone's united. Let's solve the puzzle. Ah, eh, should be enough to turn them off. Well, what lies up here? I don't know. Wait here. I can get up there? How on earth? What am I even meant to do? I probably gotta get past the lightning bugs. I don't know how this would... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, maybe I can just stomp them with water. I'm pretty wet right now. Come here. <laughs> Got him. Another river, another puzzle. Another glow bug. Well, that will come down the river for me. All right, so I imagine I gotta turn it on and then very carefully timing get past these guys. Oh, wait, no, there's no timing needed. No, oh, it's just easy. Man, they destroyed that bug. I feel like I need light, but hopefully there's some new light for this puzzle. Oh yeah, new light. Can I get you to fall? I can. Now you illuminate. Not much more. How do I get you? To come with me. Oh, I can get the crab. That might be it, actually. Just pull the crab, block the river. Yeah, what does that do, though? I feel like I'm meant to knock this down. Block another river. Okay, so I'm just blocking three rivers. I think that's the puzzle. Uh-oh. Can I get past? Nope. Okay, well, this is a checkpoint. What if I just fall down? Well, I could go get my lights. I guess the ultimate goal is to get them past the river. So doing that probably won't do much. You know what, I'm gonna let them stay there. Maybe I can save them. Okay. Uh, I don't like that. Hold on, if I do this, knock them back. Let's do that again, just for good measure. Yeah, that's kind of where I wanted the lights to be, actually. Oh, because now I could come up here and pull them a little further. All right, enter from the top. Gotta be careful I don't mess it up. Pull up here. But there's still water. Wait, the bamboo. Hard to tell. Oh, wait, that's the last river. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, I can I can just solve this now, awesome. Just call him to be like right here. Oh, just, yeah, come with me. Yeah, I hope I don't need that river. Cause I'd be pretty finicky otherwise. Okay, got past. 
to a mole. Okay, hold on. Where does the mole take me? Okay, awesome. Just shortcut through all that. I love the mole shortcuts. You know, open world puzzle game is good to not have to just keep going through the same areas again and again. What is the goal with this? Uh, 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 the light went up. What is this? Ah, I got a bird. Solve the puzzle without seeing it. I love that chain. Ooh, it's another um, puzzle piece collector. I have plenty. <laughs> I have so many puzzle pieces. <laughs> the offering is complete. What did I do? Okay, so I think I've just found two of them. I can see the others like occasionally on the map and it just collects all my puzzle pieces. Well, I gotta go save that crab, or not that crab, that uh, that frog. All right, thank you, Guideberg. Oh, nice, a fast travel. Sick, that means it's time for the puzzle gauntlet. Hmm, bird wants to go up. I don't see the funny frog I have to teleport yet. Oh, it's up. Oh no. Wait, no it's not. Well, thanks for the puzzle pieces. Oh, you know, I might have needed those frogs too. I don't know what my goal is though, and that scares me. I guess my goal is to get up there. I see you, bird. Or maybe all the way up into the right from the beginning. I guess I have to get a fro frog through this portal somehow. That's the goal. Because the food can easily get through there, as you can see. I guess I would have to get a frog through there via bubble? Okay, how about now? Well, it's moving. That just lands up in the next pond over. Well, I know. If I give its attention and then stop, maybe it'll bubble the food. Almost. I think that's it, though. Wait. Did that second food just go in a frog? Is this an overstuffed frog? Its bubble missed me. That doesn't make any sense. Come on, bubble the food. There we go. Oh, and a frog, bubble the frog. It's a little high up. Wait, but this may work. Look at me, frog, yeah, there we go, there we go. All right, the frog's bubbled. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, but the food's right here. Just gotta get it done at the right spot. He's a little bit off of the portal. I just gotta be the first thing of bubbles. Oh, but it's never this easy unless the bubble lifts up the crab. Huh. What if I set up the bubble on this side? It's so close to the portal, it's basically there. I just gotta get its attention and then bubble. Oh, yes. Barely yes. Talk about a close one. Well, let the sun shine in. Was the whole purpose so I could get light in there? Maybe the purpose of this level is to just get an average ordinary Joe frog. I guess if I were to do that then, I would need to take the light bug and have that light up the darkness. It's a little tricky to do, but there we go. I got it on the wall, so this is pretty bright now. Well, is that enough? Yeah, it actually might be. I just gotta pop the frog's bubble without alerting the food. Good. Well, let's see if it makes it there. Okay. A little progress. Well, let's get this light bug on the ground. And get a new one going. It's gonna keep eating its own source of light. But eventually makes it. Well, let's see if it accepts it. Oh, wait. No, it actually is about going to the right. I did call it. Oh my god, this is a huge level. The frog can't go up this ledge, but there is one way to do it. I think the only way is involving that crab box up there. But I gotta reset to get it. What the hell? Wait a fucking second. I think there's an invisible frog here. That's what I have to get. <laughs> okay, okay. How must I transport the invisible frog? Yeah, he's bubbled. Hold on, though. Where is he? Like, I can hear frogs? Where did the sparkles go? 
I think it moved. Yeah, I think it actually got over here. Because every now and then I see a bubble come out of nothing. The only way is with an invisible frog. Yeah, the invisible frog just ate the bubble. <laughs> not the bubble, the food. Though I need it to not get the other frog. I'll have it grab me. There. Come on, regular frog. Catch that food. Nope. Wait, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Pretty much has to get it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Well, keep following the glow. I mean, that might be all it needs. Well, I still need to free up the light again. First, I'm going to get this frog's attention. Swap his direction, and that should get it done. Let's see it. All right. So one thing I'm going to do is a little bit different. I'm going to actually send the crab down so I can access him in the future. Get down there. I think right there. Well, now I can take the invisible frog up. I just have to wait for it to teleport. All right. Now get his attention. Come this way, frog. Yeah. And there we go. It's going down. Okay. Hold on. Wait. This is perfect. It's on top of the moving crab. Oh. <laughs> well, I go in it. Oh. Hey, I got the frog through. Let's go. Where's that next frog at? Oh, up in the trees. A bird world, huh? Oh, the next frog's over here. This is actually exactly where I wanted to go, I think. I remember this was the world of the sequence break. But I couldn't figure out how to get past this bird. I want another shot at it now. But the only thing I can think of, the only way I can get past these birds is if I have something to distract them. So I have to look around. Hey, I found something that could distract them. Hold on, so I'll send this over. Hope mama bird doesn't notice. It doesn't go up though. So, oh, I probably have to use these tiny birds to grab the, the repeater. Yeah, that's the guy. But now I have to get him past the tiny birds. Well, maybe I can get him stuck at the other side of the door. Let's grab all of them just to be sure. Right. That works too. I didn't realize this game would be so violent, but here we are. So I'll put it right here in the tall grass. Start calling. So I gotta get the birds to come over. Oh, well, here they are. And now it's got something to distract them. Wait, there's still one more bird. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Because now it's also waiting to be distracted. Yes, have fun with that. And I'm through. Ooh, yeah, that trick I learned in that one other sequence break area helped out a lot. 